Let's take a look at the trillion dollar question of finance. Now, this question is one of the most important questions that needs answering every day out there in the market. And it's also one of the most basic ones. The question is, what discount rate should I use when I do my discounted cash flow analysis? And when you're a college student and you study economics, you always get the numbers and you do the calculation and great, I solved it. But in reality, you don't get these numbers. No one knows. And if there was a way to know for sure, then you can be sure that the quant on Wall Street would have found out and made an algorithm to solve for discount rate. And we wouldn't have any speculation in the market, but this is not the case. So this Reddit user has done a discounted cash flow analysis and he used the discount rates 10, 15 and 20%. And what he found was that when he used 10%, this investment was attractive. But not when he used 15 or 20 percent, then the investment was overvalued. And you can see how this creates a huge gap between valuations. And this is also what makes the market, right? But at a higher discount rate, basically, he would sell. But at a lower, then he would see a lot of upside left in this stock. So how do you know? what discount rate to use. And why do we use discounts at all? We discount future cash flows because one, inflation, take that into account, the future cash flows are worth less and less, but also risk. They might not come true like we imagined them. This company might not continue to grow 30% year over year or 50 or maybe it's a utility company and we're very sure it's going to grow at four or five percent a year and we can take that into account and do a very small discount because we're so certain of future cash flows and let's exemplify this let's make it more personal so let's say that you have thousand dollars and you work in lending so you want to lend out this money to bring more income back to you how do you know what interest to charge people for lending money to them well you look at how risky it is to lend to these people and the riskier it is the more interest you want you can see this with the um, quick mobile uh, loans you can do today or the bank loans for a house let's say you do a house loan you have the house as collateral you have some good income to show and you have a large down payment to put down on, on the house for the mortgage then you're not a super great risk and you can get lower interest in that loan but Let's say you want to do a quick mobile loan for a vacation to Spain. Well, then you're higher risk and you probably get interest rates at like 15 or 20 percent or something like that. And we do the same for companies when we do discounted cash flow analysis. We take a look at the company. What type of company is it? How certain are future cash flows? Is it a utility company? Fine, low discount rate. Is it a fast growing startup with very promising uh, prospects but great risk? Well, then we might want to use a higher number. So to summarize the answer to this question, there is no exact discount rate that you can use as a blanket. And the only way to know what discount rate to use is with experience. The more different quarterly earning calls you listen into, the more YouTube videos 
like this and other financial channels that you listen to where you understand financial concepts and you listen in on snippets from earnings calls or you see a discounted cash flow analysis being done live then you will start to understand more and more and get the feel of what discount rate to use this is the only way all right i hope you make a lot of money trading friends and that your discount rates will be accurate when you do your due diligence trade safe hope you make a lot of money take care bye bye